All right, so one, um, everybody in here, make sure everybody is muted. If you are not muted already, if you can go ahead and mute yourself, Erica. I'm <laughs> muted on my phone. It won't show a mute button because I've called in on my phone. Oh, okay, sounds good then, perfect, okay. So, um, so one, let's welcome Bobby Rader, yay! Okay, so, um, she is actually one of our very own glistening divas and is a freaking rock star. She consistently sells over $100,000 a year. Um, and she's done, I know the last two Facebook parties has been over $1,000 as well. Um, and um, she is a board of directors too. So um, very lucky and very honored to have her on our team um, and just, Absolutely amazing. So she loves to share her tips, um, and she is very, very good at upselling, cross-selling. Um, she can literally sell ice or ice to an Eskimo. She can sell bathing a bikini to a freaking Eskimo and wear it out in, and somehow talk them into wearing it out in the snow. I swear to you on all counts that I don't know how she does it, but she does. But um, she's actually going to share us um, her knowledge with us today. So super duper excited to have her here. So let's give her a big round of applause. Yay! Am I the only one? Oh, there's two people. The, Come the, on, the, people. <laughs> let's see you. There we go. Right? Okay. All right. So go ahead, <laughs> Miss Bobby Raider. All right. Okay. So um, do me a huge favor. Um, write down all of your questions. And um, how much time do I got, Connie? Do you have anything else going on? Nope, you're good. Okay. All right. So when, when I'm finished, I will sit on here and answer every single one of your questions if you have any, for sure. Um, so it's really hard for me to explain how I do this because honestly, sometimes I don't know how I do it. Um, but there is a way to upsell without being pushy, you know, and that was always my fear when I started doing this back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. I've been doing this over 10 years and my fear was being pushy and I didn't want to be, a, I didn't want to be a salesperson. Okay. Um, I didn't want to be pushy. And then, you know, four years went on, we transferred into pure romance and Chris Chickenelli said one time, you ever see what a pushy person drives? And I'm like, shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I get it. So when I do this, I do it in a little bit different way. I use my personality um, and I, I try to make it more their idea than my idea. That's, that's what I try to really do. Um, and I talk to them like a real person, not a salesperson. So that's the other thing too. Um, I always ask them, you know, especially if they're indecisive on a toy, I always ask them first off, my very first question is, I need to know your budget and I need to know um, what kind of stimulation you're looking for. That is like the first thing that I ask them because I want them to realize that I'm not going to tap out their budget. I mean, I'm going to try. There ain't no doubt. I am going to try, but I want them to know that I, <laughs> I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do like if their budget is $70, I'm not going to go automatically for the main attraction. I'm just not. I'll start down around the $70 mark and then I'll slowly work my magic and they end up buying a main attraction. So that's how it works. Um, but just be real with them and be, be, a, be a friend, you know, there, you don't have to jump down their throat right away with trying to upsell. So that's, that's the part that's really hard for me to explain. Um, cause I get asked a lot, like, how do you do it? I'm like, I don't know, but I really honestly believe that's the way I do it as I talk to them like a person, not a salesperson. I think that has a lot to do with it. <laughs> um, I, I actually sat on the back porch today and wrote things down because I just kind of, I pull stuff out of my ass and it just, it just kind of happens. Like I don't really have a template to go by in the shopping room. It really is going to depend on what they're buying. Um, if, if they're not indecisive about a toy, I don't care what, what their budget is. That's the only time I ask them about their budget really. Um, but it depends on what they buy versus and how I work in my upselling. Uh, for one, let's start off with the VIP plan. 
if you guys do not have some kind of a VIP program, um, you need to implement it. That would be the very first thing that I would do. Even if you're brand new, these girls that are getting in right now, like yesterday and the day before, really think about implementing a VIP program because that is actually going to help you upsell a little bit better, which is going to increase the order, increase the party, more um, more credits for your hostess, more money in your pocket. So it's not just, you're not just doing this for you. You're doing it for, well, one for you, your family, more money in your pocket. You're doing this to help your hostess. You're also doing it to help your customer make sure she gets the experience that she deserves with Pure Romance. So there's, huh? You raised your hand. You're muted. Thank you for it. Um, so, um, do you want them really quick? So, don't mean to interrupt. Do you want them to go ahead and write it down in the chat, or you want to just do it all at the end? And the only reason why I'm asking because one person just texted me saying I don't know what a VIP is. I I'm going to explain all that. Okay. I I'm going to explain okay. the whole entire thing. Um, I'm going to do it at the end because I would rather talk face to face versus on a chat. If, but if, but seriously, if you have a private question that you do not want me to say who it is, privately message me in the chat and I'll, I'll tell the question, but I won't tell the name. Because I mean, I want to, you know, of course, if, you, if it's a question you don't want everybody to know, I don't want you to throw yourself out there. Um, okay, so a VIP program um, is something that's pretty awesome to actually get them to spend more money, but also complete their, their experience as well, you know, so it's not always all about you. It's about the whole thing as a, a thing as a whole, like your, their experience, more money in your pocket, all that. So a VIP program is something that, okay, look, I'm going to start off for you ladies that just started. So you're brand new, you have no idea what in the world's going on, what you're doing. VIP program is just something to increase your order. So like if somebody comes in and they're placing an order, what it does is it increases their order, which increases your party sales or your just your outside order, gives your hostess more freebies at the same time. Um, and it's, it's essentially no money out of your pocket when you do this. And for a new person, I always, then this is up to you guys, but I always suggest for a new girl, you do a hundred dollars as your VIP, uh, program. You could do like your hundred dollar, you could do two tiers. I have two hundred dollars for a new girl is kind of a, it's kind of, it's pretty perfect because most of the time you're going to sell like a $59 toy, one of the one of the smitten collections or something, it's going to be a $59 toy. So starting a VIP program at a hundred is perfect because it's going to help you get her to a hundred dollars, you know, or you're going to sell a body do a coochie and a kiss, you know, which is going to help you get that $66 order to a hundred. So it's going to increase. So I always suggest my new girl starting their VIP program programs at a hundred. And of course go big for your second tier, do 150. Um, it just gives them a level to shoot for. So let's say, let's say they bought a body do coochie and kiss and their subtotal is $66. You're going to let them know that they're only $44 away from becoming VIP. And it's going to actually help push them to that hundred dollars. Now there's a million ways to go about what a VIP means to your customer, for your client. Um, for me, I'll tell you what I do on mine is I still have mine at 150, but I have my second tier at 300. And what happens is when they hit those tiers is it actually for me and everybody's buying discount is different. So work it to where you need to. Um, for, for me, they get two additional items at 30% off. So not only did I work them to the at first tier at 150 or the second tier at 300, they're going to get two additional items at 30% off. Um, my $300 tier, they get a free gift. Right now I'm doing a free tote bag with my logo and stuff on it. But if I run out of tote bags, I'm just going to give them a free gift. And once again, that free gift can be absolutely anything you want. It could be something off the sale page. Um, it can be those uh, travel size bottle, it's a bottle of coochie or anything like that as a free gift. That's completely up to you. But what it does is it actually just gets them to spend more money with you, you know, and it gets, and it gets your hostess more credits, blah, 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 all that. 
Um, for one of you, for you girls that's been in for a while, if you don't already have a VIP program, then I suggest that you try to kind of figure out what your per person average is and go from there. Your per person average is really important when you're trying to figure out your VIP program, because remember, you want them to spend more money. You know, um, when they spend more money, they're going to get rewards and discounts, you know, so you want them to spend more money. So if your per person average is you know $150 you do not want to start your VIP program at $150 you see what I'm saying so or if it's a hundred you do not want to start it at a hundred you want to you want to actually get them to spend more you want to increase your per person average <laughs> so once you figure out what your per person average is about give or take it doesn't have to be perfect I always suggest that you increase it 25 to 30 dollars so let's say your per person average is 125 then you would start your vip program at 150. Um, and it just it just gives them a reason to spend more money but it also gives them discounts so you're kind of rewarding them for being awesome and viping with you now everybody does a little bit different i believe if i'm not mistaken connie still does possibly probably free shipping um not no more. Okay. Yeah. See, I don't give a shipping discount to absolutely anybody. My mother-in-law and my mother paid shipping. So I don't, I never discount shipping. Even if they come into my shopping room and all they buy is a bosom buddy, it's $8 shipping. It is what it is. Um, I'm, I just, I don't want to lose money in shipping because it, you know, UPS getting it to us is, is expensive. So um, I never discount shipping um, and I never discount tax. Taxes, tax and shipping is always what it is. Um, so your VIP program is actually really important to have to actually help increase your party sales or in the case that we're having now, just, in, just to increase that outside order. Um, I do my upselling through text. Like if they text me an order or message me an order, I'll upsell them through, um, through a message. It doesn't matter. It, it's it doesn't matter to me whether it's face to face or in person. I always upsell. And I kind of, like I said, I kind of just pull shit out. I, I really don't have a rhyme or reason for what I do. It really depends on what, what they buy. Of course, if they buy um, a toy and there's no toy cleaner, toy toter, or lubricant on that order, of course, that's the very first three things you want to upsell right away. Another thing I do not do is I never discount those three items. Um, I never, I never discount them. I know a lot of girls do a TLC package. That's totally cool. Um, the toy, the, the cleaner, the tote and the lubricant, a lot, I know a lot of girls do like a TLC package and they can take a couple dollars off of it. And that, that's totally fine. Um, but though that is the main thing you want to make sure that they're completing their experience. Now, if they have toy cleaner, that's cool, but make sure that you are trying to upsell that toy tote and the lubricant, wh whatever the lubricant is that you are demoing or, or trying to sell. Um, there was something else I was going to say about that. Now I can't remember. Oh, well, it'll come back to me. Um, <laughs> that's why I, I wrote notes because I knew that was going to happen. Um, the, um, uh, so the toy cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So another thing that I like to do, and this is one of the ones I just kind of pull out of thin air. I always, always do a two for deal on coochie. So when they come in and they want to buy coochie, it's always on sale. Coochie's on sale for two, two for 40, always, no matter if it's on, um, an outside order through Messenger, my text, in face-to-face, -face, Coochie is always on sale two for 40. Nine times out of 10, I always sell two Coochies. Like, it's 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 a no-brainer. I don't even tell them. They don't even know how much it is. They just know it's on sale two for 40, and they're going to buy it. Um, so the other day, I had somebody message me an order, and they, they got some miscellaneous stuff. And that throws me off sometimes, because I'm like, what am I going to upsell on that? It's just like miscellaneous stuff. Nothing goes together. And one of those things were a kiss. And I was like, oh, kiss is on sale two for 40. <laughs> so she bought two kisses. So just that kind of thing, I just kind of pull, I pull stuff out of thin air. It's almost like a game to me. Like any of you girls that might be on here that were my clients before, I'm sorry, I love you, but that, that's, just the way, that's just the way it is. I almost made it a game for myself because like I told you at the beginning, I didn't want to feel pushy. 
So I'm a very, very competitive person. If you do not know me, I drag race. It kind of just brings a competitiveness out of me. So I make it a game for myself to upsell every single order, no matter what it is. And that order threw me off because I'm like, it was just miscellaneous. It was like a bosom buddy, a kiss. I, I don't even remember. It was a coochie and an aftertaste. So I couldn't do anything else with it. And it was, no, it wasn't a coochie and an aftershave. I don't even remember because I could have upsold the coochie. Anyway, it was something weird. And I'm like, shit, what am I going to do with this? So I was like, oh, kisses on sale two for 40. She's like, yeah, give me, give me two. And I'm like, awesome. <laughs> so I kind of make it a game for myself to, to, to get an extra something on every order. Um, another one that I like to use too uh, is with lingerie. Um, and I know Connie told um, my team yesterday about how she does her lingerie. And that's, that's awesome. I'm probably going to start incorporating some of that too. Um, but the lingerie too is like if they buy one piece, you always should upsell a second. Because nine times out of 10, if they love one piece, they probably love two pieces. So you could probably get them to buy two if you give them a small discount. Now, they weren't going to buy it to begin with. Keep that in mind. So if you was to sell a piece of lingerie, and you're like, oh, if you buy the second piece, it's 20% off. Now, you got to look at that like, yeah, that's 20% off. You're losing 20% of your profit. But she wasn't going to buy it in the first place. So you just profited 20% or 25 or, or, or whatever, whatever buying discount you're at. So when you're upselling, you have to think of that. They were not going to buy it in the first place. So you're not losing profit. You're gaining profit because they weren't going to buy it. So don't be afraid to give a small discount to get an extra order. Don't be afraid about that all, at all. Another thing I like to do when they buy lingerie is upsell Afterglow. I absolutely love Afterglow. It shimmers. It smells amazing, you know, and they can, when they put their lingerie on, they can use their Afterglow. So Afterglow is a really good upsell with lingerie as well. Um, you could do something like, you know, when they, you can do, oh gosh, I don't even know, buy a piece of lingerie, get the second for whatever you want to do 20% off and then get an afterglow for 10% off or just buy a piece of lingerie and just just don't even don't even discount it you can just say hey afterglow is an awesome thing to have with your lingerie and tell them about it and you know most likely they're going to buy it because it's perfect it's perfect um let's see hearts heart massagers if they buy one they should be buying two if you can't get them to buy a heartthrob at $49, I can guarantee you, you could get them to buy two heart massagers. You can, um, I do heart massagers two for 34 all the time. That's, that's, that's just what it is. They buy a heart, they're on sale, you know, they're on sale two for 34. Um, nine, eight, nine times out of 10, they're going to go home with two hearts because they're like, oh yeah, my mom would love one or yeah, I can have one for each ovary or, or whatever. So um, there's, those are the coochie and the hearts are probably the easiest thing to, to sell in twofers. But I mean, geez, you can do anything in a twofer. I'm like, I did that kiss, you know, so it could be coochie or, or whatever, you know, they buy a body do, you know, if they buy a body do, then they probably need a heart massager, you know, or if they buy a heart massager, they probably need a massage lotion or a massage oil. So you should talk about that. So it's just all that stuff that goes together um, is, is easy upsell. And like I said, talk to them like they're human. They don't know what products work well together unless you're demoing them together at a party. And then obviously they would know. Like for me, for the last 10 years, I've been demoing my heart massager with body do. It's just what I do. It's an easy demo and I'm demoing two things at the same time. So it's super simple for me. Um, and I always try to get them to buy the body do and the um, heart. And if they come in and say they want a heart, I'm like, girl, are you sure you don't want that body do? And they're like, oh yeah, I need that body do. Or if they buy the body do, same thing. I'm like, you are not going to take on a heart with this. And they're like, oh God, yeah, I need a heart. So, you know, they don't, they don't remember. And if you're not demoing them together, they don't realize what goes good together. So don't feel bad about suggesting things. And they might not buy it, you know, and it's okay. But the next time they might. So, but they don't know what works well unless you tell them. Um, Let's see. Another thing that I do also is if they order off of my website and I notice they bought a toy and they didn't buy cleaner or a tote or a lubricant, I message them. <laughs> 
So you can even upsell that way. Um, I also do, anytime that anybody orders off my website, I send them a thank you card with a coupon in it. So um, that's another thing I do, I consistently do all the time. No matter if it's a normal client of mine that just happened to order on my website or somebody I don't know, I always send a thank you card with a coupon. Um, I got these printed. I got them done um, on Vistaprint. They were super cheap for business card size. Um, and I did the business cards because like you can get, what are they, like 500 business cards um, for 20 bucks. So I made $5 ones, $10 ones, and I made $20 ones. But those are, $20 ones are for my, I like my flash sales and stuff. And then the last time I had my business cards done, I did this with my business cards. So right on your business card, it's $10 off your next order. And I just did here are all my, all my thank you cards that I just did for my web orders. I just popped this business card in my thank you cards for my web orders. So I got my business card with the coupon already attached to it. So I, that was super simple because normally I do this. I do a business card and this coupon. But since I got these business cards made, all I do is throw one of these in there. So instead of getting two, it's just it's just one thing with the with the thing on it. So and I pop them in there and I put cute little thank you stickers on the back of them and then I send them out to them. Um, so technically, this is a great way to upsell because the next time, you know, they're, you, they might get their stuff in the mail and like, oh, crap, I forgot this. And they got that coupon and they're going to reorder from you again. Um, oh, another really good one, too, is if you have girls that you're talking to, whether, like I said, whether it's through text, through message, at a party, um, and they, they actually, they want coochie, body do, kiss. Um, and the lotion all in Flirt. Make sure you let them know about the other two products that we have in Flirt, all, or all the other three, I guess you could say. Let them know about the perfume, the Afterglow, and the Between the Sheets, because they probably have no idea you have those things in other products, that scent in other products. And obviously, if you're buying Coochie Body Do Kiss and Lotion, they love that scent. So always make sure you let them know the other things that that scent comes in, because they might want the whole package. You know, so make sure you're mentioning all that stuff. Don't be afraid to mention it. Guys, if you go to McDonald's and you get food and you don't get a drink, they're upselling you a drink. Or if you get food and you don't get fries, they're asking you if you want fries with that. So McDonald's is upselling as well. So don't don't feel bad for upselling. That's just that's just that's the way of life these days. Um, <clears throat> so don't be afraid to do it. The thing is, I like one thing I do that I forgot to mention about my VIP plan. When I present that to someone, let's say they spent, um, let's say they spent uh, just a round even number. Let's say they spent $250. I'm going to let them know that they're only $50 away from hitting my second level VIP. You're going to get two items at 30% off and you're going to get a free reusable tote bag. What else can I get for you? Um, and they'll spend that $50. And then I'm like, okay, awesome. Now you get two additional items at 30% off if you'd like to use them. So I always say if you'd like to use them because that's where that pushy part comes that I don't like to be the pushy person. So I always say if you would like to use them. Um, so that's just kind of how I present that. Now let's say somebody, um, so my VIP is at 150. So let's say somebody hit, Let's say somebody hit $176, $176. Um, I'm going to say, awesome, you VIP'd, you get two additional items at 30% off or if you would like to use them. I, I do not let them go back and use items they already bought. So even though they're over the $150, I do not let them go backwards. So they're at 176 and I'm like, awesome, you just VIP'd, you get two additional items at 30% off. So I wanted to word that, I forgot to say that earlier, so sorry, I didn't mean to jump around like that, it just popped in my head, and if you guys know me, I squirreled bad, so if I didn't say it, I would have never said it. <laughs> it's a bad deal, I'm, I'm horrible. Um, so just write that down back up where I was talking about VIPs, it'll be okay. <laughs> um... Never discount taxes shipping. I said that already. 
Okay, so right now, obviously, with the situation going on, it's kind of thrown a lot of us for a loop. You ladies that just jumped on with the uh, social seller, guys, you guys are lucky. <laughs> it's like the perfect time to do that right now. For all of us that's been around for a while and all of us that's been doing parties for a while, um, it's thrown us for a loop a little bit. You know, it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot harder um, for us because we're, we're not used to it. We're used to in-person, in-home parties. So, um, and I am not even going to lie to you guys. I am the one that would get asked if I would do an online party and I would literally tell them no. So the girls on my team probably got parties because I said no. Um, I think our products need to be smelled, taste, touched, whatever. And then this happened and I didn't have a choice. So I had to pivot and I had to figure out what the hell I was going to do. Now, all of these people that I told no to, I'm like, God, now I got to go back and tell them yes. Um, so I pivoted and I was like, it's all right, we'll figure this out. So what made it a little bit easier for me is focusing on self-care. Self-care has been a huge topic in my VIP group right now. Um, and I have been selling the crap out of anything to do with self-care. Um, and which is awesome because anything that we have self-care is easy to upsell. You know, once again, it's a coochie, it's the body view, it's a kiss. Um, another thing too is the essential oils, you know, buy two, get one, whatever, you know, whatever you want to do, um, buy one, get one for whatever. Um, and you could even do little packages on these things. Um, I just auto on a whim, I was going to go live in my group last Friday and I was going to focus on grab bags. Um, and that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> I could spend an hour talking about grab bags as well, which I could. Um, if you guys want me to go live on that or some, some other time, I could totally do that. Um, but I was going to go live because I, I buy a lot of things on the sale tab and I use it for grab bags, you know, and if you guys know that if you want something on that sale tab, you better get it before me. <laughs> <laughs> I buy the crap out of that stuff and I use it for grab bags. So of course, before all this went down, I just bought a ton of stuff on the sale page for grab bags. And I'm like, shit, what am I going to do with all this? I'm going to have to sit on this until May or June. I'm like, I don't think so. So my husband, the brilliant guy that he is, he's like, dummy, go live. And I'm like, huh, <laughs> good idea. So I was like, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Well, and I, of course, I promoted it in my, in my page and all that stuff about going live with grab bags. And then I got in the ambulance, which is where I do all my live videos, because Connie has this cute little gold backdrop and stuff. You guys can see my backdrop. It's not pretty at all. So I go live in the ambulance, which is really pretty up there. Um, so that's where I go live. And I got out there, and I was like, I don't know, it was like five minutes to go time. I was I have to go live in five minutes or something like that. I'm like, you know what? I need to do some kind of packages of some sort. Like, I need to do something. So I sat in there with a piece of paper, and I wrote a bunch of product down. I took, like, five bucks off or six bucks off these packages or whatever. And I'm like, I'm going to go live and do these packages. They're already jumping on to go see you about these grab bags. So I'm going to go ahead and go live about these packages. And I literally, I'm not even lying to you, pulled these packages out of my ass. Like literally. And I could post these. Um, I could post these in um, the Glow Sitting Divas page too. So I did a self-care set. I did a CD set. I did a save my, save my skin set a men's package, a romance package, and then an I'm, a, I'm an essential workers package. I bet you guys can't guess which one sold the most. That essential workers package? Holy shit. Um, I didn't carry enough stock for that package. Um, and I carry a ton of stock. I did not have enough for that package. So um, I will get these posters for, posted for you guys so you guys can play with them and, and, and change them up and do whatever you want to do. Like I said, this, I did this literally in five minutes. The essential workers package was Rise and Grind, Kickstart, and Kiss. And the reason why I did that, well, what rise and grind, those poor essential workers are working their ass off. They need, a, they need a boost, right? Also, the kickstart boosts the metabolism, gives them that kickstart in the morning. The kiss has pheromones in it. Pheromones make people happy. Anyone who's an essential worker right now is dealing with the public. 
that are rude as hell. And I was straight up when I went over these packages, that's exactly what I said. You know, I'm like, if you're an essential worker, whether you're a nurse, you're in the uh, medical field, you're working at a convenience store, you are working at Dollar General or Walmart or whatever, people are mean right now and you need something to keep them happy. So that, that package was ridiculous. I actually wish I would have put something else in it to make it a little more expensive. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, shit. <laughs> um, but that one sold the most. Um, and then second was the self-care, which was Body Do Kiss. Gucci Body Dew Kiss Lotion. That one sold the second most highest. And then the third one was the CBD set. And all that was in that one was the body soap and the milk. Um, I swear by CBD. So I think that me and Connie actually had this conversation not too long ago. And she believes that's why I can sell so much of it is because I swear by it. Um, and that's that, that stuff that both of them, the massage melt and the uh, body soap sell really well for me. But with all of this going on with everybody, you know, their hours getting cut, what have you, I was like, man, that's, that's I mean, this shit's kind of expensive for that. It didn't matter. That set, um, I actually took $9 off of that set. So it was $139 and I sold a bunch. So they're spending money right now, guys. They really are. Um, while I was going live this past weekend with these packages in my grab bags, I had several girls say, that's all I have to do right now is sit online and shop. They might as well shop with you. Seriously. They're spending money. Do not feel bad right now trying to support your family. Try trying to get your business off the ground. You guys that are just starting this week, don't, don't be scared to do it. They are spending money. Don't be afraid to keep promoting your business during all this. They need you. Seriously, I don't know if you guys watched my live that I did last week or whatever on the Glistening Divas page. They need you right now. Talk up self-care. Like I literally went on and on and on for like 20 minutes about self-care um, when I went live. And, you know, self-care is huge right now because if you're not taking care of yourself, your immune system's going to drop. And if your immune system drops, what happens? You get sick. Whether you get the stupid virus or you get the flu or whatever the case may be, you still get sick and you need to be there for your family right now, right? If you're an essential worker, if you're not an essential worker, you're home with your kids. You don't want to get them sick. So um, self-care is huge. Like I even hashtag it like all the time on my pay, on my uh, group now. It's like, it's, it's hashtag self-care. It's like a big deal. Um, so that stuff is flying right now. Um, another thing too, don't be scared to go live in your page about different products. Um, for you new girls that just started, do not be afraid to go live and demo out of your catalog. You can still go live in your pages and demo out of the catalog. You do not need to be holding the product in your hand to go live and talk about your products. Use the catalog. Um, it, it, it doesn't matter right now. Um, I have noticed I, I, once again, I am very competitive. So I challenge myself to show products that I normally don't show, sell, show products that I normally don't show. And I cannot believe how many of the in good hands, the massage gloves that I have sold in the last two weeks, like it's retarded. Um, and it's just things that I don't show at my parties, you know, um, essential oils for that matter. I go back and forth at my parties on some like some parties will see essential oils, some don't. So like I've been demoing those a lot on my page and I've been selling the crap out of them, you know? So challenge yourself to show and talk about different items that maybe you don't show or demo at your parties. Um, you'll be really shocked. I'm telling you really will. Um, you know, you new ladies, seriously, open this bad boy up. Let's see. Open this bad boy up and go to those essential oils and demo the essential oils right out of the catalog. Um, it, it doesn't matter. You do not have to have the product in your hand to demo them. Um, damn, that was it. I'm done. Did I miss anything? Oh, another thing you can do too, I missed this, a skipper has it. Another thing you could do too um, is pair up items that go well together. So I wrote down an example, body boost. So if they come in your shopping room or they're messaging you to order and they buy a body boost, um, the stretch mark minimizing oil, 
goes really, really well with Body Boost. So if it's something that wasn't even on their radar and they're like, I want a Body Boost, tell them about the Stretch Mark Minimizing Oil and tell them if they want to try it, it'll give them 10% 10, 10 off for giving them to try, giving them a try together. Remember, 10% ain't no big deal. They weren't going to buy it in the first place. So you got to think of that. Anytime you give a discount after the fact, after they're done with their order, they hand you their order, you know, they text you your order, they're done shopping. Anything after the fact, they weren't buying. So anything after the fact is profit. Whether you're only making 10% profit, even if you're only making 5% profit, like seriously, it's profit because they weren't going to buy it in the first place. So don't be scared to discount things small to, to sell a little bit more <clears throat> and to complete their experience because that, that, that really makes a big difference. <clears throat> okay. I think that's it, but if you guys have questions, I'll probably come up with something else um, that I forgot to write down because that's how my mind works. Um, I did write down a few stats for myself too because I was kind of curious. Um, in 2019, sorry, 2018, my taxes aren't done for 19 yet, so I wouldn't know this. 2000, shut up, Connie. Two, <laughs> hey, I got an extended two damn months. Push it. I'm pretty excited about that. 2018, which I know this has increased, but in 2018, <laughs> my, um, my party average was $1,400. Um, so, and my per person average was over $200. Um, and it's all by doing these little tricks, um, that I've kind of told you guys today. And it doesn't seem like much, you know, somebody comes in the shopping room and they buy a coochie and you're like, Hey, they're on sale two for 40. It doesn't seem like much, but the more you do it, the more it adds up. It really does. And that VIP program for me is a game changer. It really is. Um, because like if they're at $125, I'm like, Hey girl, you're only $25 away from hitting VIP and you get this and this nine times out of 10, they're going to do it. Like seriously, maybe let's say maybe in a month. And I, I do anywhere between eight and 12 parties a month. Um, it maybe one person out of the entire month says no, you know, so, and I'm sure that has to do with a budget too. So. <clears throat> All right. Did I miss anything, Connie? Sorry, I mute myself so that literally wasn't a noise. Uh, oh, you're fine. Um, no. Um, could you, um, I know that you, um, while you're giving some examples of um, what, what, what worked well together, can you like really quick just kind of go through that again, like all at once? So that yeah. makes like a synopsis or a summary? Well, that's how it's written down on here, um, but that's not the way I said it, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really horrible about that. That's like one of the things you kind of got to read between the lines with me because I just, I jump. I'm, my brain is so squirreled. It's horrible. Because I and blew I didn't, stuff on you. I didn't used to be like this, Connie. It's your fault. I know. I just never blew stuff on you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So I have written down twofers, twofer deals, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to twofer, like seriously, any of the consumables are twofers. Bosom buddy, they're twofers. Um, coochie, two for 40, any of that. Coochie, body do, kiss, coochie, body do, kiss, lotion, bosom buddy are all $44 if you buy two of them. So two for 40, that's only four bucks you're taking off of two of them. That's pretty awesome. 10%. Um, Having them go to 22 was a game changer for me because I always did two for 35. I was losing five bucks. Now I'm only losing four bucks. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Cause I've been doing two for coochies for well since slumber. Cause they were little in slumber remember? So they were, it was easy two first. Um, a toy, toy cleaner, a toy tote and a lubricant. For me, that lubricant is a Euphoria water-based lubricant. That's all I show. Um, hearts, heart massagers, twofers. Seriously. Um, lingerie, buy one, get one. Remember, use your buying discount. You don't have to use the numbers that I'm giving you. 
because I know for some of you newer girls, you might only be at a 30% buying discount. Do not do buy one, get one for 25% off. You know, do it, do it, change it up. Do maybe buy one, get one for 15% off. Even, hell, even 20, you're still making 10% because remember, they would not going to buy it to begin with. So making 20% off a piece of lingerie ain't bad when they weren't going to buy it. But be careful with your buying discount. That's a very, very important. Um, lingerie and afterglow or lingerie and bang bang. Bang bang's a really good one. Um, body boost and the stretch mark minimizing oil. That's a huge one. Those two are huge. Those are, those are easy togethers. That stretch mark minimizing oil is going to eliminate, or sorry, reduce the appearance of the stretch marks and the body boost comes back around and tightens all the skin around the stretch marks. So those two, those two marry really well together. Um, if they buy a heart massager, they need something to go with it. Um, whether it's body dew, um, the massage lotion, the massage oil, Um, um, anytime they are doing a, basically, I guess really now, the only thing we have is flirt. If they're buying flirt, then make sure you're mentioning the whole entire line, meaning the afterglow, um, and the between the sheets and the perfume. And if you, if, do we have, yeah, well, there's still roller balls left. So make sure you complete the set because if they're buying all those products and flirt, they, they probably don't know that there's other products that smell like that. Um, I used to do the same thing with Love Story, but then we got rid of the Between the Chiefs, so. Um, the men's line. <clears throat> Always bundle the men's line together. Somehow or another, if they're coming in um, and buying a shave, make sure you're letting them know about the rest of the men's line. Um... What am I missing? I think that's it. I think that's it. I'll show you guys these packages really quick. But like I said, I will uh, I will definitely post them. But I'll show you a couple of them really fast. <clears throat> I don't know. Can you guys even see them? It's kind of blurry. Is it blurry? Even, yeah, it is, isn't it? But it's like, well, not necessarily blurry, but it's like whited out Pixel. almost. Yeah, like pixely like. Yeah, Blurred. I'll post them. Okay. Yeah, I'll post them. And you guys could totally take those. Like if that, those discounts work for you, take them and use them. If you like those packages, don't recreate the wheel. I already did it. Go ahead and use them. Um, the most I took off of the package was $13. The romance package was $13 off, and then I'm Essential was $13 off. And it's only because of that's the way it worked out to get it to end with a nine. So, Oh, tell them about that. Oh, yeah. I'll, anytime you do a sale or if you do a discount, and it's, it's something other than a twofer, like, it, you know, if it's something that you're going to make packages up for, always make sure you end your sale. Like, it, so... Let's say the self-care was $88. I dropped it $9, so it would say $79. You always want to drop it down to a, a 9 or a 7. So 79 or a 77, it always just looks better. So instead of doing, it was $88, don't do $80. Do $79, always. It looks way better than $80. Bucks. So always drop it down to a 9 um, I don't, I, I don't even like, like, even like if you was to go down to like 72, that still doesn't look very appealing, you know, 79 honestly looks better than 72. It's weird to say that because obviously 72 is better, but nine always looks better. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I hope, I think, yeah. <laughs> okay. Anybody with questions? Ask away. They're like, you said it all? Okay, so I have a list of questions. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so can you repeat what was in your essential worker pack? She's yeah. going to post them later, too. Yeah, I can. It is um, Rise and Grind, 
Kickstart and Kiss. Okay, my next question. Do you have like a list or like a document that like pairs things together? Like if you buy this toy, this and this would go really well with that toy. No, I don't. I guess I could create one for you guys and post it though. Um, I guess that just comes with product knowledge, really. Um, which if you're newer, then of course you wouldn't have that yet. Um, but I, yeah, I don't see why not. I could sit down and, and create one. Like what the hell else do I got to do right now? <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Really, I'm home all the time now, so. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah. And yeah. then one more question, and then I'm done with questions, I think. So when you do your VIP tier, in your expertise knowledge, if you're just starting out, and I would say my orders are averaging about 100 to 150. So would you do tiers at like 150 and 200 or where would you set those? Um, I would, yeah, I would do 150 or you can even, I mean, if you want to push it a little bit, do 160. I, I could do mine higher. I know, and I know Connie has. You have, are you up to 175 now, Connie? I've been at 175 for four years now. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I leave mine at 150. Um, and see, I don't advertise it either. So they have no idea what my VIP is until like they come in the shopping room and they hit it. <laughs> I don't want them to know. Um, and the reason why I don't want them to know is because like I said, if my tier's at 150, I don't want them to know it or they're going to buy 150 and then they're going to buy a main attraction for 30% off. That's what they're going to do if they know what it is. So I don't advertise it. So basically, I let them shop. So I let them shop. If they get to 175, they VIP and they get two extra items at 30% off. I don't let them take items that they already have in their cart as a 30% off. So um, I would, if I, yeah, you could, you could push it. If you want to try to do like 160, you totally can. Um, I do 150 because where I live, that's kind of, it, it sits, it usually sits around 125, 140 ish seems to be like the sweet spot. So I kind of keep, I just want to leave mine at 150. I just raised my second tier to 300. Um, it used to be 250. So if you wanted to do like 150 and 250, you could do that too. Okay, I lied. I have one more question. Oh, that's fine. I'm going to be oh. needy. I'm sorry. I'm the needy one. Connie knows. Oh, that's fine. I don't care. Okay. Bobby, so you, you were you when you first started. She oh, is God. better than you were when you first started. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so if you're doing um, online parties, and let's say you have 20 girls in this party, and 10 of them have ordered, and you have the other 10 that are sitting there with no orders yet. Obviously, you reach out to them. If they say that they're going to order online, how do you bring them away from that? Um, that, that's easy. I, I actually would rather them order through me anyway. Um, I'm greedy. I want all of my profit. Um, of course I'd use the link if they want to order online. That's great, whatever, but I'm very greedy and I will get them to order through me, um, versus that link. Um, especially because most likely they're probably not going to order to begin with. If they haven't already and they're like, Oh, I'm going to order online. No, they're not probably not. So um, that's when I just talk them into ordering through me. I'm like, girl, I can get you your stuff so much faster than ordering through that website. So um, that's it's kind of the way true. I work that. So you're not lying there. It truly mm -hmm. is a truth. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So whether you have stock or not, nine times out of 10, you can get them their stuff faster than corporate can if you're placing an order, like if you're placing an order very shortly. So it just, it just depends, I guess, to where you live. Because it takes an extra day for you to get your stuff, Connie, doesn't it, than me? Yeah, usually one extra. I usually get it the day before and I get pissed off every time. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, so I, I do. Even in the morning on top of that. So it feels yeah. like literally two days extra. Right, yeah. But yeah, no, I, I usually try to get them to order through me anyway. Um, 
for other reasons as well, but I won't get into that topic either right now. <laughs> That's a whole nother teaching session too. Um, but I am I'm greedy. I want my all, I want all my profit. I think that's all my questions, but okay. I'm sure I'll come up with some more. Oh, I was going to say, if you come up with more, that's fine. I just want to say, Erica, your bun disappears and comes back. And it does. It's gone. Oh, there it is. See? It's just weird. <laughs> it's so distracting. It's because of the background. The I back know, it thing. is. It doesn't like your bun. Uh-uh, it doesn't. <laughs> Are y'all going to be uh, upsell masters now? Yeah, just don't be afraid to do it. McDonald's does it all the time. So does Sonic. Can I add something to the, on the subject for upselling and all that stuff? Uh-huh. Okay. So I think there was another. Hold on, Connie. I think there was another question. Oh. So I have a question. Have you ever upsold toys? Oh. Like, do you ever try to get them from one toy to a higher toy? Huh? Or... How do you go about that? Um, first off, like I said, um, I do ask a budget. That is, when it comes to toys, I'm a little bit different with that. Um, and I ask them what their budget is. And most of the time, they're going to say their budget's, you know, 100 bucks or less. Um, and then that's when I do. I literally open up the catalog and we start going through the toys. Then I ask them what stimulation are they looking for. That one's fun because most of the time, they have no idea. So most of the time you have to explain that too. Um, and then I, I literally open up a catalog and I show them. So if they say a hundred bucks, I will show them what they can get for a hundred dollars. They can get the opening act. <laughs> you know, or, so, I mean, that's basically it. There's not very many. Um, and then I tell them about the cheaper ones that are battery operated and not as strong. So by just talking them through the toys and showing them what they look like, I can usually get them to buy a main attraction. Um, but do not, do not try to just go right off the bat to the main attraction or to, um, the magic touch at 149. Just be, be cautious because you don't want to be the one to where, you know, they get the toy home and then they have remorse buying and then they're pissed off at you because, well, hell, she was just going to get a $59 toy and now she's going home with a freaking main attraction. So just be cautious, ask them what their budget is and kind of help them pick a toy. Um, but I don't always go automatically to the main attraction. Most of the time, yes, I do because the main attraction is a good beginner toy and it's also a good experience toy for a toy owner. Um, that is like my number one seller is the main attraction. But at the same time, you have to find out what they want because some ladies don't like clitoral stimulation. So you don't want to send them home with the main attraction and they do not want clitoral stimulation. Um, and same thing with, I got to look at them because I don't even know what the hell these things are called. <laughs> The, the old, the uh, cheap ones, or oh, the love struck. Okay, we'll go with the love struck. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's so bad because I don't, I don't deal with any of those lower price toys, so I don't know the names of them. When people come in the ordering room and they're like, I want a love struck, I'm like, you want a what? <laughs> no, you don't, I promise. So that's how the conversation goes, straight up, honest truth. I'm like, no, you don't. So that's when I ask them what their budget is, that's when I ask them the stimulation. Because some women want to come in and they ask for the love struck. Well, the love struck does not have clitoral stimulation. And if they cannot have a vaginal orgasm, you don't want to sell them something that's not going to work for them. So you've got to make sure you kind of talk to them. Um, but by the time you get done talking to them, be honest with them. Nine times out of 10, you'll be able to talk them into a better toy. And you just have to be honest. Um, and I actually tell them that during my demo, I let them know that I'm very honest. I'm not going to let them buy junk. So I'm a very honest um, consultant. So you just kind of talk them through their toys. Um, and then once you talk them through between the battery operated toys that they have to buy batteries, which cost a lot of money and don't have as much vibration, you're going to get them into a higher bracket of a toy. That's, that's how I do it. Okay. So quick question too. The new uh -huh. the suction. I am so excited to show that to people and their biggest fear is they're like, that's intimidating. That's the first thing they say. They're like, it's super intimidating. And I don't know how to come back from that in a positive way. Girl, it's a, it's a contouring pump. It sucks your clip for you. What? Yes. So here's the deal. So men sometimes don't know how to do it. 
They don't even know what they're sucking on. You put that toy where you want it to suck. <laughs> so I will say, I will say that I had a girl that was nervous about it too. And she came to my house and I let her touch it. And she was like, girl, I don't know. This may be too much. And I was like, well, okay, listen, I know this doesn't sound super strange. I said, but put the suction on the end of your nose. Mm -hmm. And she did it. And she was like, oh, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. But I can tell that I would like it. And so that yeah. helped her. Mm -hmm. I know you probably don't want everyone's noses on your toy. But if you no, have an individual. No, but. My first thought was, wow, that's going to be bad. So I put it on my nose and it wasn't bad at all. Okay. So now you bet your ass that that, that picture is going to end up on my VIP group yeah. tonight with that thing hanging off my right head. i feel like i gotta do that right now i'm like i'm gonna go do it yeah i'm totally yeah no no <laughs> doubt yeah because i have it hanging off my finger i'm like this yeah mom right. um, another thing is too you have to make sure yeah. you let it go and you can shut it off if it starts to get too shut it off and keep the vibration going because the vibration is separate. okay <laughs> okay connie what were you saying so uh, if you don't mind me just adding something since the upselling that you haven't mentioned that I do um, yeah. since we're on the subject is everything that Bobby said, two for blah, 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 all those other kind of does, right? One thing that I normally always do, like I have um, like uh, this one girl that I'm talking to, she's like, I just, I want the, she goes, I just want, and she literally just said, I just want, or all I need right now is the body doing the flirt and then the men's body do basically. Um, at every single order, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, and for those that know that whenever they shadow my party, every order in the ordering room, even on um, messenger, outside orders, it doesn't matter. Um, is there anything I can get you for? Um, is there anything additional that I can get you for 10% off? Huh? So anything just additional, they get 10% off. And I do it in the ordering room. But in the ordering room, I look in there, I look on the iPad, and I'm like, Oh my God, girl, your order qualifies you to get any additional item you want for 10% off today. What would you like? Mm -hmm. So it just magically she qualified and there is no qualification. It's just, just like she ordered. <laughs> that's, that is just like my VIP program. It's the same thing. Because, you know, when you're not advertising it, they don't know what it is. So you can just throw it in there. They have no idea anyway. I used to advertise my VIP program. VIP program way back in the day. And then I'm like, what the hell am I doing? They are literally getting to $150 so they could get that $200 toy for 30% off. Duh. So I quit advertising it and I've never had that happen again. No, that's not saying that they won't go out and tell their friends, which is fine, but they have no idea what the hell the VIP point is. I don't tell them. You know, one girl could spend $150 and hit VIP, but the next one could spend $175 and hit VIP. They don't know what they had to hit to hit VIP. <laughs> Not to mention, they really don't know because they always add tax and shipping into their, their totals. And it's like, girl, no, it's before tax and shipping, you know, so they, that, that kind of helps disguise it too. But that 10% thing, Connie, I used to do that way back, way back. And I forgot all about it, actually. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Like, uh, I mean, like way back, like six years, seven years ago, way back. So um, I do a little bit of both what Bobby, so I actually announce my VIP, but my VIPs, they get a free gift. So that way entices them to want to spend something to get that free gift. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, oh, because now you're an elite goddess, you get any additional item you want for 15% off. So I do a combination of both. I give them the tier. So that way they're like, oh, I want to become um, the elite goddess, then they know that they want to try to become that, but they don't know that I'm giving them another extra special discount. Yeah. So I combine yeah. the two together only because I can't freaking sell ice to an Eskimo necessarily like Bobby can. So i um, giving them um, my clients, and that's totally your personality. If you're just like Bobby, then you probably don't need to advertise a VIP program. Um, mm -hmm. But for me, I need to advertise a VIP program because it helps me get to that next tier for myself okay right. so um but it was the main of the the <laughs> there, what additional item can i get you for 10 percent off or um even on on outside orders i'm like hey you're only 25 dollars away from meeting uh, my vip level which and that which entitles you to get a free gift 
So use the word entitled, exclusive, qual you qualified. Those are the three main words to use. I'm putting these pictures And by the in way, guys, I have been with Bobby for a long time and she can still fucking sell me shit that I know better. When, when yeah. I did, I did, I went to Claudetta's meeting and while I was there, I actually sold a starter kit to a consultant. <laughs> Straight up. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. And she wasn't a new consultant. She had been in like three years at this point. <laughs> Any other questions? Any questions at all? Maybe not necessarily yeah, about this, right. but maybe anything at all in her business. So stats wise, real quick, Bobby, you did how much last year in sales? Uh, 170,000? Yeah, damn near 170,000. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was like 168 something. I mean, 170 sounds better, so it's all good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, 169 really sounds better, but <laughs> no, not when it comes not when it comes to that, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, she doesn't want to go down now. Mm -mm. So, what would be the biggest thing <sighs> to help? Sorry. Um. I'm trying to get my VIP group up more and I know there's different ways, but what's the, been the most productive way to get people to add other people to your group? I do not personally go add people to my group that I don't know. I don't add people on Facebook. I don't know just to get them in my group. Um, but the, 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 the easiest way, the funnest way for them is to do a contest. I'm mm -hmm. actually doing a contest right now. And I did, what I did is once we hit a certain, uh, once we hit the number that I want to hit in my VIP, uh -huh. they give this away. So they get this absolutely free. So everyone who adds people to my group right now, gets their name in a drawing to win the Glow Getter set. And I set the number, you know, so if, let's say you're sitting at 50, 50 people in your VIP group, you know, say, hey, when I, when we get to a hundred, I'm going to give away a free travel coochie, you know, a free four out, what, what is it? A one out or whatever, just a free travel size coochie. Mm -hmm. You know, if, you know, if you want to get to 200, you know, if you're at 50, you're like, I want to do 200. Be like, awesome. Everyone who adds people to the group and comments below, I'm going to put your name into a drawing for X, whatever you want to give away. Okay. Uh, I love, love, love giving away pleasure packs. I call mm -hmm. them pleasure packs. All they are is sample packs. So right. um, those are really cheap and easy to give away. But I try to get them to add their friends versus me going out and adding a bunch of people that I don't know. Um, right. I get added to, I can't even tell you how many freaking groups a day that I decline. It drives me batshit crazy. So I don't want to do that to someone else. But if their friends add them, I don't care. I just don't want to be the one to do it. Okay, thanks. Yeah, because I'm just trying to build that VIP page. Yeah. Do do little contests. Do little and do don't go gigantic. Where are you sitting at right now? How many people? About I've got 48, so I was going to try and get it to 100. Did 100, yeah. Don't go crazy. Yeah, do 100. That's perfect. And just do do a, you know, do a pleasure pack or, you know, right now you can get the Afterglow um, and the business supplies for $2.50. So that's not bad. Two fifty to get up to 100. That's not bad. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My only thing is I can't ship anything to customers right now. How come? Because so, I have COVID. Me and my husband. So. Do you? We're not allowed to ship for, for, we can't leave or do anything for yeah. 14 days. Yeah. How many days are you in right now? I'm on day six. He's on day three. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then we got two kids, so we don't know if they're going to get her done. Yeah. But no signs of it yet. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That is good. I think I had it too. I think I had it in December. It doesn't feel great, but it doesn't feel as 
bad as like what some people have it. But I'm in yeah. Michigan where it's really bad. Like yeah. one to two people out of every thousand have it. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think I had it in December and I thought I was going to die, but I made it through it. I didn't die. <laughs> okay. But. All right. Next. I mean, oh, go ahead. I'm like, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, so you mentioned the pleasure pack. I started doing pleasure pack uh, last week. Um, I did it in my VIP kind of as a story for being in six months, but I noticed one person that said was one of the first ones that asked for one that they wanted one um i didn't realize until just a couple days ago already has a consultant on our team but she has been getting free stuff from me and giveaways and stuff like that How do you handle that ah uh, you were breaking up too bad i couldn't quite catch it all connie you're muted did you get that shit no i'm not muted you was i would um, I think what she said, oh wait, there comes Stephanie back again. I think what she said was that there's a consultant in her VIP group and her consultant has grabbed, and she didn't realize it and her con that consultant was winning stuff, I think. Is that what, it, I don't know, that's what I thought I heard. I, I could only hear bits and pieces, but that's yeah. kind of what it sounded like it to me. Same, I didn't under, I didn't know. If you have a consultant that's in your VIP group, kick them out. I don't, but. Well, no, I mean, if they're not on our team, she doesn't really need to have a consultant in her group. Absolutely, 1,000% agreed. Yeah. And if she has a. Can you girls member, hear better now? I think so. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, it's not a consultant in my group, it is a client that it has another consultant, but she's getting free stuff from me in my VIP group. And I didn't know that until a couple days ago. Why are you letting her win? <laughs> well, I did it until like two days ago after she's already won like two things, got two free things. All right, well, now you know, don't let her win no more. <laughs> Should I remove her from my VIP group, though? Okay. I uh, has, she, has she ordered from you? Mm -hmm. No. She ordered from her consultant a few days ago. Kick her out. Yep, kick her out. I just didn't want to be rude about it, but I, she never said anything. And then when I mm -hmm. realized it, when I saw it, I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. So, cause I don't yeah. want to take something from someone else and seem like I'm trying to step on any toes. Right. So. Right. Exactly. Well, and obviously she's already des decided who her consultant is as so she's ordering from the other consultant, mm -hmm. but yeah, she's getting the free stuff from you. So, right. I mean, I have clients that are mutual, like Jordan and Amber and, you know, so like, but more than likely they're going to go to one of them, but they're not trying to smooch off of me and then only order from them. So if they have a consultant, then I'm like, Hey, so since Jordan's your consultant, um, I want you to support her. But if, and I would just flat out say like, you're earning free stuff from me and but your, your consultant is so-and-so, you need to go with your consultant. Like, mm -hmm. that's just <clears throat> Okay, yeah, I will definitely, because um, she is a friend of mine, but when I saw the other day, she's like, thanks, Connie, got my order. I was like, oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going there. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> I love you. Uh, I love you. Okay, so, so basically you saw it in the group, right? Because you're in the group too. Is that where you saw it? Uh, no, she posted it on her Facebook page. Oh, is it Roxy? 
Yep. Okay, well, she ordered that literally like three weeks ago. Well, she's been getting free stuff from me for weeks. Well, actually, the last like two months. Don't let well, I, I, What I would do is I would take a screenshot of that and be like, hey, girl. Um, it looks like you already have a consultant that you go through peri um, uh -huh. periodically or consistently or whatever. So I'm going to remove you from my Okay. Because you've you've won several things and you haven't ordered from me. Right. Okay. So I yeah, literally. <clears throat> or do what I do and stack the deck. Don't let her win no more. I or pick who I want to win. Or you can do that too. Or next time if she does win, be like, hey, your prize is you get 10% off of your next order. That's what you gotta do. So, so if you so maybe instead of kicking her out or telling her that, say, hey. That's her prize every single time she This there is you. my prize. Nine times out of ten, this is what they're getting. So. Yeah, honestly, it's okay to have a consultant or a person have two consultants. Yeah, oh, for sure, yeah. I feel like. So I'm not going right. to get mad if somebody orders from you, but she's taking right. a stuff from you and never orders from you. I feel like that would be the case. And that's the, that's the case right there. It's, it's just been free stuff, but any discount or anything has always been, no, I'm good or not this time. And so it's there's never been an order placed. So, so at least then if you just give her a discount and then she didn't and she won that, you didn't have to physically give her something, then be like, cool. Yeah. No. That way you didn't lose that. Okay. Right. She got some foil packs this time, so I got you back. Right. I got you back. Yeah. We got it. <laughs> I got you back. There you go. So I was going to show something that I'm doing in my group. If anybody is interested in it, it's a way to sell product and you, your people in your group only have to spend a dollar. Sure. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen real quick. Um, so can everybody see it? No. Uh -uh. No. Okay. Hold on. I clicked the wrong button. Oh, I didn't hit share. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So can everybody see it? maybe. Yes. Uh -huh. So what yeah. it is, is it's a mystery raffle bag and they buy raffle spot tickets. They're a dollar. They send it to your PayPal friends and family. And then you do your raffle once all the spots are filled and you're still selling products, but it gets activity in your group. So those that are looking for that activity, it'll kind of boost that because everybody's commenting on it. Oh, I want one spot, one spot. And that boosts your algorithm. So I do these about once a week and it's a $45 value bag and it sells quickly. Wow. I mean, I posted this 55 minutes ago and I've already filled up all my spots, but five. So what do they do if, so one person wins a $45 grab bag, right? Correct. Okay. So what if they don't win? It's a raffle. You take that chance. So the only thing that you might run into if you have one of those clients um, that in some states that's called gambling and they won't allow that. Well, all of mine are in Arkansas, so I'm okay right now. Yeah, in the state of Arkansas, you can't do it. If you are not a nonprofit organization, you have to give them, believe it or not, a $1 gift certificate if they spent $1 with you for that raffle. It is so stupid, but it is true. But I'll, I'll but look, it would just I'll look it up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely would, look you know, it up. The bad thing game. is because I've been doing this in like in my previous business, I've been doing this for a long time and you're allowed like because of the rules and laws, you're allowed to do it this way. Yeah, like my so. thing is, is I think it's a freaking awesome idea, but it would just take that one asshole to turn you in to make it a big deal over a freaking dollar would be the thing I'd be worried about. But also because it's only a dollar, it might not be that big of a deal. I right. guess it's to look up. Because I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I love it. Shoot, I'm going to do it. Wow. 
what if we do a foil pack, you know, as a consulate, if they buy five, they get a foil pack or something, or is that still in that same issue? No, because I got something for that five dollars. Something for that amount. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that's and I can also make it and tell them like message the ones that bought it and say, Hey, thanks for entering in my raffle. You have a five dollar off coupon the next time you order. So basically right. that's what and it is. That sales that way. When we when I do like kit raffles and stuff, mm -hmm. so it's ten dollars for a kit raffle and then someone's going to win um, a kit. So, and I always tell them someone's going to win a kit, um, but everyone is a winner regardless. So basically if they gave me $10 and they got a $10 gift certificate on a future purchase. So yeah, regardless, you're going to get money uh -huh. from that anyway. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I always do too. And the last time, man, last time I bit my ass because I had people buying $80 in tickets, which was awesome because that's how I earned Thailand. And now I have to give $80 credits and I'm like, oh, but I'm wondering because if it's only a damn dollar, if it's really that big of a deal or not. Probably not. See, that's what I was wondering. Like, is they seriously? I'll, I'll research it and I'll let everybody know. Cool. Okay. Um, and I know every state is different, um, mm -hmm. but with that gift certificate, I would put an expiration date on it. So. Oh, how many different states do we have? Like, what states do we have on here? And I can look at them. Uh, well, I'm from Arkansas, and my Oklahoma. Yeah, I figured there's so probably I have Oklahoma. Arkansas, Oklahoma, Missouri. I think on this call, that's all there is. Yeah, I was going to say, it's probably okay. about right. I mean, but okay. we, I'll look it up for those three states, and then I'll post it in the listening divas. Yeah, well, we have, well, we have it in different states, too, so... Okay. Yeah, because everybody's in different states. Okay, I'll just kind of look at the laws and restrictions for all states, and then I'll post it. And then y'all can... That's a lot of work, but I can see what you want, Erica. Hey, I think she only should do the ones that were on here. Arkansas, Missouri, and Oklahoma, everyone else. Well, no, because you might have customers. You might have customers in Michigan or New York or you know wherever. So I'll just do all fifty states and then I'll let y'all know. Okay. Well, we did have Michigan on here. Michigan. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, there was Michigan. Ah, that TV is so loud. I can't hear anything else. Whose TV is on? Amber's. She gets like, oh, oh. <laughs> shit! I can't hear nothing else. You do already. The TV. <laughs> She's like, oh shit, that's me. <laughs> right. I have to unmute it to ask a question, but. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to start recording really fast.